Heroes Mars Word animated Hi everyone I'm Angela, and today I have some really interesting questions for my mom and dad about a Bible study we've been learning together. We're going to talk about things like eternal judgment, why Jesus wrote letters to churches, and what it means to stay close to God. I'm excited because I think these are really important topics, and I know my parents have some great insights to share. So, let's dive in. Mom, what does it mean when they talk about eternal judgment? Is it something we should be worried about? Great question, Angela. Eternal judgment is when God evaluates our lives and decides our eternal destiny based on our faith and actions. It's not something to be scared of if we're living according to God's word. It's more like a final exam that we prepare for every day by making good choices and following Jesus. That's right, honey. And it's important to remember that Jesus doesn't want us to be fearful of judgment. He wants us to see it as an opportunity to live our lives in a way that honors him, knowing that he's always there to guide us and help us grow. Dad, why did Jesus write letters to the seven churches? What was he trying to tell them? Jesus wrote those letters to guide and correct the churches, Angela. He wanted to encourage them for what they were doing right and warn them about things they needed to change. Each letter was like a report card, helping the churches grow closer to God and reminding them what's really important, like keeping their first love for Him strong. And just like we get report cards in school, these letters were meant to help the churches see where they were doing well and where they needed to improve. Jesus wasn't trying to be harsh, He was showing them how much He cared about their spiritual health. Mom, I heard something about a pastor losing his lampstand. What does that mean? Losing the lampstand means losing a position of influence or leadership, Angela. In one of the letters, Jesus warned a pastor that if he didn't repent and return to his first love, he would lose his role as a leader in the church. It's a reminder to always put God first, no matter what we're doing. Exactly. And it shows how serious God is about our relationship with Him. Leadership is a big responsibility. And when leaders start focusing more on their own work than on God, they can lose that special place of influence. But it's also a loving warning. Jesus wants us to stay close to Him and be effective in what He's called us to do. Dad, why did Jesus say He would kill someone's children and make them sick? That sounds so harsh. It does sound harsh, Angela. But Jesus wasn't being mean. He was warning a woman named Jezebel in one of the churches because she was leading others into sin. Jesus knew that if her children followed her bad example, they'd end up lost too. By taking them away early, he was actually protecting them from going down the wrong path. It was a serious warning to show how important it is to live rightly. Yes, and it shows how much God values our eternal destiny over our temporary comfort. Jesus was making a tough decision because he loved those children too much to let them be led astray. Sometimes God's ways are hard for us to understand, but we can trust that he always knows what's best for us. Mom, what made the Church of Philadelphia different from the others? The Church of Philadelphia was special because they kept God's word faithfully, even though they didn't have much strength or resources. Jesus praised them for their endurance and promised them a great reward. He said they would be protected from future trials and have an open door of blessing. It shows us that what matters most is our commitment to God, no matter how small we might feel. And that's such an encouraging message, Angela. It tells us that even when we feel weak or insignificant, God sees our faithfulness and rewards it. The Church of Philadelphia teaches us that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness, and that's something we can all hold on to in our own lives. Wow, that was such a great conversation. I learned a lot about how important it is to keep God first in everything we do, and how much Jesus loves us and wants the best for us. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for answering all my questions and helping me understand these big ideas. And thank you all for joining us today. Remember, no matter how small we might feel, our faithfulness to God is what matters most. See you 
next time. Heroes Mars, word animated, faith filled.